Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dom Pessy. I'm a music producer, but I wanted to uh, do some tutorials and I was having a hard time with QuickTime, the built-in QuickTime player, uh, to do screen recording. Uh, I have an Apollo, actually have two of them, um, the older quad versions, and I was just having a lot of phasing issues. So this is a quick, hopefully quick, tutorial. So I can show you exactly what I did to get this to work. I tried another program called I Show You Audio Capture, and I really couldn't get that to work very well. I, I figured out that it was all about the UAD Apollo console. So if you notice here, I'm just going to go over the UAD Apollo and what I did with this. I set up uh, my microphone on this channel here uh, with the plug-in here. It's a great plug-in in the API. And I also um, have all of my system audio routed through a virtual channel 3 and 4. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right. Uh, the one thing that I did, so I can hear this, I'm directly plugged into the HP1 or headphone 1 jack on my first Apollo. If we go over to this corner right here and we look at the Q inputs, I have this set up so that Q, uh, Q1 is set up here. And this is going to my first set of headphones, okay? I can, uh, this is the first Apollo and this is the second Apollo, okay? So if you just highlight, uh, just highlight this one, you can kind of click back and forth here, okay? If I click on monitor, then I can't hear anything um, in my headphones, but now I have Q1 set up. So that's the first thing that you do. So go into the Q, uh, Q input section here and just click on that. Okay. Second thing you do is click right here in your overview window. And this is a send. So this is your, your aux 1 and 2 sends, which are right here for effects if you want them. Uh, and they'll end up in your headphones if you want. And this is the headphone send. So I can actually listen to myself when I'm talking. Um, one of the things that you have to do, let me click out of this, is you also have to mute your channel that you're on or else you'll get feedback um, and a phasing problem inside of your headphones, okay? So step one, get a channel, get your microphone working. Step two is go over to the Q inputs section here, okay? Click on uh, the input Q input one. Uh, and then third thing you're going to do is turn up your headphone amp and fourth thing is to increase the volume here. Okay, You won't be able to hear anything unless this is up. Whenever you have your channel muted here, the only way you can hear yourself in your headphones is by having the HP1 increased. It's a send level. Okay, It's internal. It, you've got to have this up. Okay, as if if you have this um, unmuted, what you're going to have is a phasing problem. Okay, you're going to ha have too much of the source coming back at you too quickly. All right, so first thing, uh, as I reiterate, get your channel working. Okay, so you can hear it. Come over here. Okay, uh, set this up on Q1. You won't be able to hear anything at that point. Okay, um, it's just the way it is. Um, you're going to mute your channel, okay? And then you're going to come over here and increase the HP1 level, okay? Now, you're also going to go to your virtual channel, whichever one you choose of your Apollo. You can choose 1 and 2, 3 and 4, whatever. Um, and you're going to have that muted, and you're also going to do the same thing. You're going to go to your send level, and you're going to increase this. Okay, I've got mine right about here. And this, this is like a mix for yourself whenever you're using your headphones. It's just really convenient to do. Um, and since your channels are going to be muted, you're not going to hear anything back unless you have these, these send levels up. All right? Okay. So now we are going to, uh, let's see. We're going to go in and we're going to look, uh, we're going to hit, um, command key and spacebar at the same time. And this brings up Spotlight, which is over here in your, in your Mac OS. And I'm going to type in Audio MIDI. And the Audio MIDI window 
is where you set up your general um, input devices and output devices. So if you see here, I have my uh, my Apollo um, coming in. It's uh, on Thunderbolt, and um, these are all the uh, inputs and outputs. If you click here, you can kind of see all your outputs and inputs. And down below here, this is where you set up your speaker outs. So regardless of y your interface that you have, um, you can set up where you want the outputs to be, your speaker outs to be, your system audio to come out. And I'm going to click on this. And what it does is it brings up uh, two drop-down menus for your left and right speaker. If you look, I have mine set up for my virtual 3 and 4 uh, channels here. Okay. Um, but I could very well put them on the main outs that you know it defaults to. But I decided to do this because I can change the level of the sound coming out. Uh, if, or if I wanted to put a plug-in on it, for whatever reason, I could do that on the virtual channels inside of the UAD console. All right, so I'm going to click Done because I didn't really need to do that, um, just for you to, to see it. So go to Audio MIDI, and then click here on Configure Speakers, and make sure you're, you've highlighted your UAD Apollo here, okay? And then you're, you're going to brought to this, this screen here. And then select your virtual channel, whichever one you want. Um, and uh, then you can close out of this. Okay, you can quit that. All right, so last thing we need to do is just check our sound preferences. Okay, so we're going to go into System Preferences, and we're going to go to Sound. And we're just going to make sure that we have our inputs and our outputs uh, here. Okay, um, and make sure that we've got the... Uh, the UAD Apollo as our inputs and outputs, okay? Uh, just to make sure everything's working right. All right. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you and demonstrate why you need to have your channels muted, okay? So we're going to go back over here. Uh, right now I'm recording and everything sounds fine. And if I change, let me, let me get this... Um, started here. This is just a little drum loop. Okay, I'm going to go back into my UAD console and I'm going to unmute my 3 and 4 channel. Okay, now there's a huge amount of phasing that's happening. Okay, uh, this is the reason why you need this. Okay, let's mute that. Same thing with my voice. I'm going to start talking and I'm talking and now it's phased out. So that's the way you set up your UAD Apollo. Again, I'm just going to reiterate. Regardless if you're using a DAW disk capture screen, whatever, um, the, the one thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that if you're in your DAW and you're doing a tutorial or whatnot, this is Digital Performer that I'm using, you want to set up all your outputs, these are my audio outputs, to my virtual 3 and 4 or else you're not going to be able to hear them because it's all going to be coming in through the 3 and 4. Audio MIDI setup is a global parameter, global setup for your speaker outs. So you need to have that um, because it's going to be routed back through your Apollo. All right, that's what I wanted to show you. I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Thanks again. Take care.